What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can mine Solana using Unminable. Even though Solana can't be mined traditionally, there's still a way to earn it through mining other cryptocurrencies and converting them to Sol. So let's dive right in. So um, what's the deal with this website Unminable? Um, it's a platform that allows you to mine coins that won't use the proof of work mechanism like Solana. So by mining a supported coin like uh, Ethereum, Ravencoin or Monero, uh, it automatically converts your earnings into Solana. So that's pretty cool because uh, you're, you're basically just earning, uh, like you're mining Solana without really mining Solana, you know, it's pretty funny. So uh, first things first, you'll need a mining software. So Unminable has its own miner, which makes this process super simple. So we just head over to the website, click here. It's unminable.com. I'll put it in the description too. And you just click on the token you want to mine. So for in our case, it's Solana. You press on get started here. And then you have two choices. Either you download the mine, the no miner files included or the miner files are included. So in this case, uh, it's a simple process if you don't want to do it manually and look for miner files. So we're just gonna download it instantly. Uh, continue to this website. So it says unverified download blocked. So uh, in the case of using uh, mining software, it's, uh, your browser or your Windows will always have an issue. It will detect it as a virus. Uh, in my case, I've used it personally. There are no issues. It's not a virus. You're just going to make money mining with your GPU. It's not going to get you hacked or anything. So do this at your own will. But I can confirm it's, it's not a hack or it's not risky, you know. So you just press on download here. It's going to download for a bit. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to open it here. So we go back here, we select the token. As we said, we're going to be mining Solana. So we just type Solana. We put in our address. The, this is the address that you're going to be receiving the money on. So double, triple check the address so we don't send your money to someone else. Make sure it's correct. There are no, like you can't uh, refund this money. So please make sure before you put it in. In my case, I put in my phantom wallet address. You can put in your Coinbase or Solflare, etc. So uh, put in your wallet. Uh, you should uh, put in the referral code here. So this is not my own referral code. It's someone else's. But you should definitely use a referral code whilst, while starting this uh, process because it lowers your fees to 0.75%. So uh, naturally, when you're mining, uh, and Mineable are going to put in some fees for you when you receive the money. So you should put in a referral code so it reduces that even more. So we press on start, we go to settings. You're gonna be selecting, you're either gonna be mining using your GPU or CPU. So in my case, I'm using my GPU. And then you should uh, double check how much VRAM you have on your GPU. I have six gigabits, so that's more than enough. So I click here. Uh, then we're gonna select the GPU mining algorithm. In my case, I'm going to be using Kaupao. Do your own research. Pick one that's best for you. In my case, it's Kaupao and it's also SRB minor multi. So I'm just going to keep it like that. Select your your mining intensity. So e you can either set it to normal. So it's automatic or you put in custom commands here. The commands are found here. So if you want to uh, make your GPU work even harder, you should look at these commands and, uh, and change it manually here. So I'm just going to leave it at normal. These are by default. If you want to change them, go ahead. And then you press on save and restart. That's it. So as you can see, guys, I've been mining for a couple of hours here. And you can already tell that my balance is up. So I have 0 0.0002. And this has been done in like 10 hours. And so as you can see, the information listed here we already talked about. But uh, you can see that the local hash rate for me is 11.mh and the effective hash rate is 14.mh. So when you first uh, when you first click on start and you leave your PC mine for a bit, you're going to notice that the local hash rate keeps updating, but the effective one stays at zero. That's completely normal, guys. You should, as you can tell, they, they even write it here. It can take some minutes to show up and up to an hour. So you should wait a bit to see if your effective hash rate is changing. If it remains at zero, that means that you have an issue and you need to find a solution. You can maybe reply on my on my video and I can try to help you. So as you can see, my both uh, both uh, local hash rate and effective hash rate are changing for me, so it's working fine. So my GPU is completely working and it's mining for me. 
uh, you, you can also click here instead of watching your balance on the application you can click here and it will open a website you can see your balance and how much Solana you have made in the past five minutes so as you can see here the the amount uh, changes so yeah if you enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to put a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching guys see you